welcome, welcome, welcome back to Cup of Joe's, where you get your daily cup of Joe from a couple of Joe's. There's been some confusion about our name. Um, it's Cup Zero Joe's. Cup O Joe's. You know, Cup Zero. So, figure that shit out. It's Just not make that the tough. stretch. <laughs> 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 uh, if you type Disneyland and TikTok right now, we're probably going to come up. <laughs> and we are going to be talking some Disney today. Oh, I didn't. I didn't drink this. Bad luck, is it? Come on. Mm. Hey, you can't start it off like that. It has actually been a couple of weeks since we've gotten in the in the lab together. Yep. We didn't have a drink last night, though. Yes. Watch the Warriors oh, squander away a great game. Had it. It was over. Had it. Had it. What do you think went wrong? Steph Curry getting hurt. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> By the way, update on Steph. We heard today, only out a couple games, the MRI revealed no structural damage to any part of the knee or or the ankle, I'm which is shocked. crazy. I'm shocked. That shit looked really bad. I was Shoot, like, that's oh. history and everything. Yeah. Like, I was expecting three weeks, maybe pushing playoffs. Maybe it's the brace. Maybe he was yeah. wearing that brace, and that's what yeah. saved him. He yeah. wears his crazy braces. Somehow, I don't even know how he's mobile in them, or how you could even turn it that much with that brace on, too. That seems odd, too. Yeah. I don't know. It looked really bad because nobody touched him. It was all on his own. The type of stuff where you see oh. guys' knee get torn up to shreds, too, because that weird weird motion. Um, Sugar Shane O'Malley tore up his knee doing something weird in the ring, and he fucking had to fight on one leg. Yeah. That's oh. fine. That's fine. Yeah, <laughs> your knees hurt. Your knees hurt just figuring out. That, that's a good fucking sport to, to have one leg. Uh, yeah, yeah. Not, not a great sport to have one leg. Um, <laughs> Speaking of knees hurting, I just played basketball against people for the first time in a while. Yeah. What was your stat line? <laughs> my first, uh, my first one was shitty. First game was shitty. My first shot was air ball. <laughs> but I ended up with about eighteen total points over three games. So. I felt happy about that. There was like a 12-year-old kid guarding me. That's 90s basketball, bro. <laughs> but this kid was quick as fuck. <laughs> His best is get alive. <laughs> uh, yeah, four on four. So, you know, half court. It didn't yep. have to move too much. But directly afterward, I was like, what the fuck were you thinking? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, sir. <laughs> Jenna. <laughs> I thought I was working out with the trainer. And, oh, man. But it's hard to go from like working out to like... And now you're moving laterally. Yeah, yeah. Now it's that's uh, a whole different And thing. also like practice speed. I don't practice at game speed. <laughs> I'm yeah. sorry, I'm not Steph Curry. <laughs> I practice at practice speed. <laughs> don't be a try hard. <laughs> yeah. And game speed is you know, every now and then I'm like, hey, he you got me, man. You, you did it. <laughs> help. <laughs> help. <laughs> I know that there's not scouts out here. <laughs> yeah. I have fucking Achilles bag injury. I'm forty one years old. We're we're all good. I'm going to go have a beer after this, probably. <laughs> Either in victory or defeat. <laughs> All right, so Steph is good. Yeah. The Warriors have been turning shit around mm -hmm. significantly. Things are looking amazing. I want to specifically point out Trace Jackson Davis. Balling. 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 Yeah. He, he put up a crazy sequence that maybe we can get him to show it on here, but basically he gets two blocks on Giannis in the fucking same play. Comes down the other man and gets a dunk. <laughs> yep. <laughs> he's like, you know, what what we wanted Wiseman to be. That's exactly. Yes. He's what we wanted Swap. Wiseman to be. Wow. <sighs> but. Yeah. He looked good. Yeah. And not only did he look good in that game, he looked good last night. That pass oh was legit. Yeah, we can threaded put that, pass that, that needle, too, needle right here. Threaded that needle. It, it, it could not have been a millimeter more to the right or it was going to go off a shoulder or something. Mm. And excellent position for him to finish, too. Like, I think that was one-handed, too, right? It was yep. one hand. <laughs> yep. Left hand? Is he, he's not left-handed. Shit, do I not know if he's left? No, I don't think he's left-handed. He's not left-handed. I don't know if it was his dominant hand or his offhand. Yeah, either way. Crazy, it was crazy good. pass. And I didn't know he was like that. I knew his, he could rebound. I knew his he could... Dunk the ball off that dunker spot for sure. Yep. Can he shoot a three? He doesn't. He doesn't right I now. I don't think he can. Maybe maybe keep him inside. We got enough people that can shoot threes, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure he, he shoots a lot of threes. But blocks, rebounds, everything like he's a big ass dream on green that's better offensively. Yeah. Uh, I think he's I think we have something. I think I think he's gonna be something. I hope so. I'm pulling stats right now. You know, we've had a lot of uh, 
really good, though they could be have a lot of potential as players and they haven't panned out. I guess every team has. But we've had some really good ones that have. Kaminga's coming around too. He's been playing amazing. His sat lines are great. He's been, been playing better. And getting more trust too. Jackson Davis does not shoot threes. Yeah, good. He let's, does not let's have him not shoot. He does, he does not have an attempt. Not this season. <laughs> Rare these days. <laughs> yeah. For someone on the court like that to not have a three attempt. Mm-hmm. We say this and he's going to fucking jack up three tomorrow. <laughs> speaking of threes. Yeah, speaking of threes. Dream on green. Announcements. Announcements. <laughs> <laughs> this is off the press is bad. Pretty fast. Larry fucking bird. Larry legend. Larry legend. Pass him up for three pointers. So you guys saying that Draymond is not going to be in the Hall of Fame are absolutely insane. He's had a defensive defensive player of the year, four championships. He's now passed Larry Bird in threes. He doesn't even shoot threes. It would be really nice to add a clip right here of uh, Mad Dog Russo on ESPN saying that Larry Legend is the greatest three point shooter in the history of basketball. This was reset. This was reset. Over Steph Curry. So it'd be really nice <laughs> to put that right here. And then I'll to also say that Draymond Green just passed him. Yep. <laughs> Draymond Green. <laughs> and and I love Draymond how he's been playing too, man. He's he's been hitting those threes. He's been being aggressive, slipping the screen, getting to the bucket, dunking on people and shit. Yep. He's playing really well. And he just had a new baby. Right? Did he? Did he? That sounds right. Yeah, somebody was talking to him on the bench or something, sitting next to him. I don't know if this is that, that recent, but when they were talking, it was like he's four months old or something like that. For sure. But okay. he's other kids too, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I love Draymond. I love Draymond. We love him on this cast. And we know you do your own cast, Draymond. We'd love to come on. <laughs> and Or have you on here. We'd love to have you on. You know, if you give us four minutes of your time. <laughs> as much time as it takes you to take a shit. <laughs> Do it while. <laughs> yeah. If you're like me, that's 24 minutes. I know I should see a doctor. <laughs> My wife, they have get what they call ass issues. <laughs> you know, they did put up a stat. I don't have the stats. So I'm not going to quote this. Uh, during the Bucks game, yeah. they put the with Draymond and without Draymond this year. Oh, and okay. it is, it's black and white. Like, oh, yeah. It's yeah. night and day. Yeah, he is the core of everything that we do. Yeah. Defensively and offensively. Yeah. Without him, it's really hard. I mean, obviously, without Steph, it's harder. If you wanted to choose which one to be out, I think we were saying that last night. <laughs> tra- we'll trade you a Trace. <laughs> Sorry, Trace. <laughs> I, would, I would be interested to see their record and their Without's stats less. with and without Steph. Ooh. With and without Draymond. I am not saying that Draymond Lord. is a better player. No, I'm no, no. not no. saying Nobody that. is saying that on this podcast. <laughs> it's just going to be interesting to see because we're Chris Paul running the point. You're not going to lose much from that spot from that perspective. You might even get more points in dis- distribution. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We're going to get that. Three games at least, he's going to be out with this injury. Right. Which is oh, so amazing. I'd love to look at it just from like the last five years. Over the last five years. Oh, yeah. Who's, who's more valuable to the team? Mm. I would say it's damn close. It might be. If we look at a stat line across the board, like points per game allowed and yeah. Yeah, it would be very close because there's certain things that he brings to the table that Steph can't do, right? And obviously, there's things that Steph brings that he can't do. <laughs> like what? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I play offense really well. Putting the ball in the net. <laughs> that, that, yeah. He does everything on offense very well. He sets a mean ass screen. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking fouled out doing that screen. Yeah, that was stupid too. I don't know. I, the refs. I fucking hate refs. Yeah. I mean, we need them. Right. But can't we at this point, isn't there a way? We have all this AI technology and shit and camera angles that are 3D rendered. We could look around at a replay. Like, isn't there a way to just have a robot call it? I'm ready for that. A lot of people are against that for like baseball and football. I don't know. I I just want the players to look. The referee should have nothing to do. Consistency, too, right? The, yeah, the refing at its best has nothing to do with the game. It's just enforcing the rules. It doesn't affect the outcome at all, right? right? Make sure everybody's playing the right way. Let the players play yep. and determine the outcome of the game. Yeah. And some, uh, what I get it. I don't understand why some people say, hey, no, it's okay to get it wrong, you know, 70% of the time or <laughs> what? Yeah, human error is part of the game. It's like, why? Why? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We don't need it to be anymore. Yeah, I know. Because we, 
And we didn't have AI. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or maybe there's some money involved that we don't know about. The way to control Donnie. the game. <laughs> Donnie. Donnie. Right? <laughs> I can I can make a game with full points. See the way, <laughs> cost kings a championship. Yeah, and admits it on an interview, doesn't he? Thirty for thirty, I think. <laughs> Always thirty for thirty. Uh-huh. So there is a, there is that that happens. It's not fucking unprecedented, right? For a referee to change outcomes of a game, and also be betting on the side of things. I'm sure all these dudes bet somehow. Huh? You hear about that receiver that got caught betting? Yeah, um, Calvin Ridley. <laughs> he was using his, his username was like C. Ridley. Yeah. <laughs> C. Ridley, what? Why, WR. <laughs> what the fuck? Listen, if criminals were dumb, we would never catch them. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. We wouldn't have these stories to tell. <laughs> oh, <Bob. laughs> Draymond passing up Larry Bird is something that's insane. I'm sure that he never thought as a as a player he'd be passing up Larry Bird for yeah. fucking in a scoring statistic. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and maybe a rebound statistic. I could see that. Yeah. Uh, okay, I got a couple of things that are uh, in the news lately, and these two stories are coming up where a North Carolina man won a hundred thousand dollar lottery prize three years after winning. A two hundred thousand dollar prize. Fuck that guy. I think time travel's been invented <laughs> <laughs> because the next fucking story is a Michigan woman. This is all in the East Coast here. A Michigan woman and her friend won a hundred thousand dollars and fifty thousand dollars, respectively, from the same Powerball drawing. What are the statistical odds of that shit happening? Uh, I don't like those people. The simulation's breaking down. <laughs> it's getting lazy. <laughs> the writers are just yeah, out. yeah, man. Just let them let fucking just let that guy win again. We're, we're at the end. It's like yeah. fucking just whatever, whatever. model <laughs> we're supposed to spit out, whatever data they needed, they got it. And we're fucked. These people are too fucking stupid. We just <laughs> yeah. This is if everyone's just dumb as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> we got to restart this one. This is, somewhere we were wrong. I don't know what fucking Trump got elected twice. <laughs> Whoa, seen it into the future. <laughs> See, and I hate I hate that for that to happen. Just that be right now. I have an I have an am I the asshole? Yes, I have an am I the asshole? You are. <laughs> yeah, yeah, most likely. I think the ones I pick are just <laughs> maybe the, what you definitely are. Oh, and then I have this other thing. <laughs> I thought it was funny. I don't know if you, <laughs> uh, it's a Reddit stream about the, the stupidest or weirdest reason you hooked up with somebody. I'm Gim. First one, 209 days ago. In exchange for discounts on office supplies and Outback Steakhouse gift certificates. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make steakhouse is good. I will say him. If you've ever never had a blue and onion, <laughs> it, might, it might be weird that quick is jerk in a bathroom. Hang on, is this coming from a guy or a girl? Uh, that, <laughs> there's context issues here. <laughs> uh, the name is Excitement Capital. The first and pinned comment is that's not okay, Meredith. So <laughs> possibly a woman. <laughs> that's worse. Because I was temporarily homeless, and it meant I could have a shower and a comfortable bed for the night. <laughs> oh, also, I didn't tell them I was homeless. I had some pride. And I only did it a couple times. <laughs> that seems like a valid reason. I don't think that's a weird reason. Like, that's a... I mean... That's called the hustle right there. Yeah, you're here, you're hustling. Yeah. You're not asking for money. I think you're grinding. <laughs> Doing a service for the, the community. <laughs> Which we we call this hobosexual is the first comment. <laughs> oh shit! <clears throat> because they had the same name as me. Hmm. Try to think. Would you would you scream it? I guess you would. That would be the oh, like the the. the ultimate goal right yeah why not how would you do joe well i guess there's a lot of like girl names that start with joe that's like the nickname is joe right sally joe <laughs> <laughs> oh i'm <begging> joe 
Does that count if it's a hyphen? It I think it does. <laughs> I'd like to think. <laughs> what are like ambiguous girl boy names like Aaron or something like that, right? Mm -hmm. That can go both ways. Um, Taylor. Taylor. Yep. Taylor. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Taylor Lautner. I'll get in bed with him. <laughs> You're ready to kick me in my face. All right. <clears throat> to get revenge on my ex cheating, she was her little in her sorority or some bullshit. She had a terrible personality, but was very hot. So dude getting revenge on his girl who was mentoring somebody in her sorority because she cheated. I'm good with that. Yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. Right. If you cheat, everything's if off. You the... cheat, you beat. <laughs> <laughs> you cheat. Everything's on the Don't table. <laughs> everything's on the table. If you cheat. <laughs> because she asked. That's not That's, a weird reason at all. Is that rare these days? Though? Yeah, I think so. For a woman to ask, you know? Maybe not. Depends on Good him. for him. Yeah, good for him. Post a picture. Oh, wow. This is like way too real. <laughs> I was emotionally compromised and wanted to use that person that I cared nothing about to make me feel better about the situation I couldn't fix. Whoa. We have all been there. That <laughs> lady got deep. <laughs> We've all been there. <laughs> I feel, I felt that one. <laughs> There's not a single person watching this right now that has not done the same thing. <laughs> Zero. All right. Let's do a couple more. <laughs> you guys need reasons? <laughs> <laughs> she asked. <laughs> <laughs> her brother was a coke dealer <laughs> she had an unlimited supply and was very generous with it. <laughs> get out there grinding yeah man that's a little too much <laughs> maybe drug dealer could you say <laughs> this not specified <laughs> yeah, why are you outing him like that <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry I'll, I would, I'll edit that we'll, so we'll put drug <laughs> that's probably going to get past any algorithm anyway so <laughs> It's better if they exchange that word with drill. Uh, rent was due. <laughs> In well, hang on. Okay. Okay. Did you sleep with someone to gather money to pay your landlord? Ooh. Or is it with the landlord? And does it make does it make a worse? difference? Mm. I think it, it, yeah, in my mind right away, one is worse. It's the going out to get multiple dudes to, to pay. <laughs> Instead of just agree. fucking one dude. Why is it worse though? It's like the same thing. Well, it's really messed up for the landlord if you think about it. Like okay. You went out and you know, slept with all these guys just to pay me when you could have just come to me and yeah, like what the paid fuck? the bill. <laughs> I've been hitting on you for, for days. <laughs> I bring your groceries in for you. Okay. We're terrible people. <laughs> well, we knew that all here. But it's, it's okay. <laughs> I was bored and he looked like the guy I was trying to get over. That's not the best way to do it. Is it maybe catharsis, but you, I don't know if you want something that looks exactly like the person or do you, what do you think? <laughs> you have some, you have some theories on this? <laughs> oh, he doesn't know. No, we're, we're not going <laughs> to. I don't know if I want to admit this on you. <laughs> oh, <what? laughs> that I've done that. Oh uh, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> all right. I, I've gone up to the same name, oh, not purpose, not purposely. Let's just same make sure name. that's okay. clear. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was on one of the dating apps and swiped on someone. Yeah, because it looked like okay. the ex. Okay, and uh, also one happened to have the same name. Not going for it, it just happened. And wait, hold on. So th these are two different two people. Two different okay. people. Yeah. Well, if, if it's a common name, that's uh, that's gonna happen, right? Yeah. If the name was Boom Quisha and you found another Boom Quisha, you know. It's like hitting the lottery. Yeah, Joey likes some thick and black. Look at this girlfriend on. <laughs> Beyonce. With Korea, I don't now they're looking back like, wait, no? Wait no. a second. <laughs> Are they telling us something? <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. So a lot of people, yeah, going through some hard times. 
Um, we always talk about that shit. You know, we're, we're never afraid to, to hit those hard topics. We're not going to. I don't think this episode will keep it lighter yeah. and, and fun. But we will be doing some more episodes that are some, I don't want to say heavy hitting shit. It's just, mm-hmm. you know, more real talk, you know, yeah. about life advice and how to move forward with things, mm. how to maybe look back on things that you maybe shouldn't have moved on from. Yep. Why the grass is always greener on the other side. <laughs> Depending on where you're staying. Yeah. Have, like, you, uh, have you seen that uh, TikTok series, um, Who the Fuck Did I Marry? No. So it's viral. There's like Oh, yeah, 50, there's like 50 parts to it or like something? There's like 50 parts to it. I did Blown not have up. the heart to look at it. What What is it? Do you know about it? Uh, Taylor's watching it right now, but okay. essentially she's like going through like her whole life story and all like the red flags that she missed along the way. Yeah. It's like each episode's like it's crazier like and long. crazier. It's like long. I know. Like and each one is 50 crazier. minutes or something. Yeah. And there's like 50 parts. Yeah. How? I could beat it. <laughs> <laughs> and so you don't even know like the main thesis. No, I, I have okay. no idea. Yeah. I have no idea either. I mean, comment below if you know about what, what the hell's happening. Maybe we'll find ourselves watching i know that each one has like a million views and yes. there's 50 of them and it blew up like overnight did the guy kill somebody or something or is he like a spy no that'd be crazy though it could be there's a lot of stuff to tell then mm-hmm. huh man i don't want to spend 50 hours of my life learning about this stuff yeah we're gonna have to I'm gonna have an, this yeah i'm gonna have an ai look at it <laughs> Here is the synopsis. <laughs> we'll make it into a two-page book and send it out to everybody. <laughs> what not to do? Red flags are interesting because everybody has different ones, right? Mm-hmm. And everybody sees red flags quickly, <laughs> but also chooses to ignore red flags because of the green ones that they love so much. Yeah, yeah. What's your biggest red flag? Uh, I think just general rudeness is my, my biggest one. Mm-hmm. Like you can be sarcastic and funny and, and all that stuff. But if you're like just rude as a person or you like weirdly name call or something like, yeah. <laughs> it's just like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> I instantly just, yeah, that's icky as fuck. <laughs> and then stupidity. Like if you're dumb as fuck, I just, what the yeah. fuck is it? Yeah, I don't find it cute at all. Yeah, why do you exist? Just... Uh- I think that some girls think that it's like a cute thing that they do. And I think that some guys are like into it. Okay. I'm not. Yeah. 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 Is it, is it attractive or sexy to look ignorant? Comment below. (laughs) (laughs) Fun. That's not going to go over well. (laughs) (laughs) Where are we at? So we were talking about some movies that are coming out soon. And Joey just watched the first Dune. Yep. Um, and the second Dune just came out. Yep. And it's in theaters now, right? It's not on streaming platforms. Or no, no, just came no. out this weekend in theaters. Yeah. So, or, so it's Friday, recently. so it came out probably yesterday or today. Awesome. It's people are saying it's, yeah, people are saying that Dune 2 is like way better than the first one and awesome. And you like the first one a lot too, right? Yeah, I liked it. I just uh, saw it today, so. I love it. Uh, Timothy Chalamet. Chalamet Ch- Chulamar. <laughs> <laughs> Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> and... Uh, as Zendaya's in that too, right? Yep, she is. Mm-hmm. And then who else is in that? Day? In the first one, it was huge. It had like yeah. Jason Momoa. It had no, uh, yeah Oscar Isaac. It had... Oh, Oscar Isaac! I forgot about that too. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. a great cast. Mm-hmm. Okay, Javier Bourdain. Oh, that's shit. That's right. Everyone was in that one. Yeah, I gotta go rewatch it. I got it. Was it on uh, Disney Plus? <laughs> uh, it was uh, Hulu. 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 Okay. Well, two hardcore for we like to throw ones. disney into every one of our podcasts now because we have such a good video that's going on disney right now. yes and if you hadn't seen it yet it's about a tip on how to use the genie plus to your advantage people are saying in the comments that we're going to get it shut it down for you but we're not that crazy viral yet you know it's at 35k not 35 million i don't think it's on disney's radar yet <laughs> but i think it's something that they want to fix anyways like that's they probably know it's an issue and of they just they, do. they just can't possibly take it down fast enough. yeah it might update the the system updates that's slow or something right or it's built in as a safety net or whatever and the they, tip if you don't think disney knows they know <laughs> and the tip is called genie plus plus genie plus plus uh so 
We wanted to also though run through like a typical day if you didn't want to buy the Genie Plus service. And before I that was like an option, there was just the fast passes, which were awesome to get because you mm. can get them one hour at a time. Come back during your window and send a runner, what we used to call a runner, <laughs> to go get this. Yep. So typical <clears throat> typical day. And I'm just gonna do Disneyland because I, I could do California Adventure too, but we'll save that for another one. Or maybe you do California. Or you do know because we should both do our Disney. Yeah, let's do it. And it changed because when we used to do this, there was no Star Wars land either. So Yeah, that's that's changed things up. Yeah. So my typical is first thing is you get a rope drop. So we're there at six thirty AM, like a bunch of idiots. We got oatmeal and stuff, you know, for the kids. They're yep. chilling, relaxing. We have a bunch of coffee for us that we can maintain. We get in the park, <clears throat> they let you in, and then you sit behind another rope to get to the rides. Now, if you have Magic Morning or you're part of the Disney hotels, you get to go in an hour early. That This really changes things. If you can do that, absolutely do it. Have you ever done it? I have. Well, we usually get Magic Morning with the... We, we would buy the season or the um, three-day hopper mm -hmm. with Magic Morning. And at the end of that mm -hmm. three-day hopper, we would turn it upgrade in. to the season tickets. Yeah. Nice. Until we get the Magic Morning. And then we've also done, which is a little hack you could do, is um, you book one of the breakfasts inside the park. If you book one of the breakfasts in there and you eat really quickly and get you the thing with the, they let you right out into the park. <laughs> is that still the case or yeah. is that just in the past? No, that one, you know, so where you rope drop, where, where I usually go is right in front of the castle. There's the restaurant that's right to the right hand side there. Carnation. Or I think it's like Carnation. That. Yeah. If you get the <clears throat> pancake ex breakfast experience and you book it for earlier than the park drops. Yeah. Then go in and eat real quick and take your picture. <laughs> That's the toughest part. Because you like, have your kids with Dorothy and you're like, let me go fucking go. <laughs> but if you make it out, then you can get in there. But anyway, if yep. you don't, if you're just at the rope drop, got to get up to the front of the line. Cannot be on the sidewalks. Got to be in the street. There is no running, but that rule doesn't exist for the first five minutes in Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen so many people power walk so fast. <laughs> so I go straight through the castle. First ride I hit is Peter Pan. Always. Because it's, for some reason, that line is an hour long, 10 minutes after the park opens. It's not even a great ride, I would say, but it's one that's necessary. I've been to Disneyland probably 50 times in my life. Yeah. <clears throat> I've gone on that ride one time. Yeah. Ever. Yep. Because it's usually not worth it to wait in it. Yep. So we hit that one first. And then, you know, usually we have little kids. So it's Dumbo after that. It's right there. You have Alice Wonderland. And you also have the teacups right there. Then you have the Matterhorn that's right there. Matterhorn's usually broken down. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> so you hit all those three right there. And then while that's happening, we would send a runner to get a fast pass for a Thunder Mountain or something like that. Yep. Right now, mm -hmm. I think it would probably be you do a Genie fast pass for... The Millennium Falcon ride. Right. Get on that hella quickly. And so you'd get all those rides right after that sun, hit that ride, and then you can get your Rise of Resistance right. one because that's off the grid and you got to pay 26 bucks for that shit per person. How did you like the rise? Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> <clears throat> Easily. So we recap, we usually do a top five, mm -hmm. like everything with the kids. That's their favorite thing to do is a top, top five. Yeah. Everyone's number one best ride of the trip was rise yeah it's crazy you have to do it pay the 26 bucks though don't wait in that fucking line yeah it's insane it'll waste your entire day it, it's worth it if you're if, that, if you don't have the money to do it though so please sit in line <laughs> so i would hit that then we're talking we're only like nine o'clock in the morning at this point we're you know two hours have gone by we've gotten on six seven rides and then it's um it's a small world get that done okay super dope line you fucking walk right on yep then you come off of that and usually toontown's opening up so toontown they have that new mickey ride there which is pretty cool i do like that one yeah that one's really cool i have come do the toontown stuff and then get your fast pass for what you did for thunder mountain then you hit pirates and then you get the fuck out of the park because <laughs> <laughs> now we're about 11 30 and shit's getting real. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> so what I usually do is get another fast pass on the Genie app because by now we're already at five, six o'clock in the evening for all the passes. Right. Grab that, hop out of the park, have some lunch, grab a drink if you drink, grab a smoke if you smoke, grab a drug if you drug. <laughs> 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 and then 
usually I'm out of the park for like three hours, three or really? four hours. Yeah. Dang. And then we come back in five o'clock and stay till like after fireworks. So 10 o'clock. So another five hours and that's more chill. So right. like, what do we want to do now? We want to do Autotopia, get the fast pass for that and just chill, hang out. Shit like that. Yeah. Autopia is one that the kids love to do. Oh, they like to drive. It, man. And I'm just like, oh. And they waste a, a fast pass on it too. I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's one of those ones that I have it <clears throat> that time in my head. And if it's not under 15 minutes, it's like, do we really want to spend our time in this? Yeah. Usually when we come back at the <clears throat> Star Tours, Star Tours is a must. Love Star Tours. Miles has loved Star Tours since, you know, the day he could get on it. Yeah. And then you have um, Space Mountain. Yep. Which is one of the funnest rides in Disneyland. Yeah. If you don't like space, you're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> so, how do you finish the night? Always finish the night? Fireworks, parade, get out of there? or uh, Yeah, usually, um, sometimes a water show that happens. Oh, yeah. It's like the Fantasmic. village. Yeah. Um, it, scared, it used to scare the kids when they were younger, but now they like it. <laughs> <laughs> so usually like the water show maybe do um jungle cruise i like doing jungle yeah, cruise yeah. at night yep uh and yeah then hit fireworks hopefully they're going if not last time we went they could do the fireworks that night but they still did the um the snow and oh. they played the music and stuff so it was really yeah what uh what hotels do you normally stay at um we used to always stay at the uh, it, we used to be the radisson but now it's some swanky it's called like the club one or some shit okay it's right across the street we stay as close as possible yeah, yeah. i stay at the howard johnson too that's on the corner there that one's nice yeah because like it has the cool water park for yep. the kids yep and they like to be at the hotel just as much as they like to be at the park in that one <laughs> <laughs> it's usually not that hot i'm going either but that the kids don't care right that there's that big bucket that people don't know about too yep i like to just sit Dump there <laughs> just watch a dad get fucking taken out <laughs> I made the mistake uh, one time of taking my son, just me and him. We went down. He was probably three at the time. Okay. And uh, they had a crazy good deal at Great Wolf Lodge. Because okay. that's, that's down yeah, a little it's, bit. It's not that far though, right? No, it's not. Yeah. Two or three miles. But if you don't know about Great Wolf Lodge, it's an <clears> amazing <throat> attraction in and of itself. And that's and where that's the awful. issue <laughs> came in. It was a great deal. I mean, it was like $100 a night. Oh, they had to. But we went in, we started the water park, yep. and he's like, I'd rather go to the water yeah, park. Yeah, why would I go to that? And it's like, no asshole. <laughs> yeah. We're doing both. This we is cheap. Both. <laughs> we did this. Done. <laughs> We're going to Disneyland. <laughs> we drove six hours down here. Yeah. <laughs> There's one in Manteca we could have got to. <laughs> oh, it probably wasn't that one at the time. No, not at the yeah. time. Yeah. Do you know the one in Manteca they call the San Francisco Great Wolf Lodge? Last time we went, there was a family there from France. And I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> well, they said in San Francisco, yeah, you're about two and a half hours. No, I've met a lot of people that have all said that. Yeah. Anytime I go there, I always run into someone like, yeah, we thought we were staying in San Francisco. Oh, of course you did. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, you had to try like two hours out here. Yeah. And if you got here on a Friday at oh. 5 p.m., that's Shh. a four hour drive. Yep. Easy. You want the real Bay Area experience? Come on out. <laughs> oh shit! And that once you're in that place, it's it's a wonderland of joy. Yeah, you have it's a one door water park. Yep. You have what um, the one in I don't know if it's the same there, but they have gold panning. Mm -hmm. They have the mini golf. The coolest Sky thing was course. the oh yeah that that yeah mm -hmm. people get scared on that shit too. Yeah. <laughs> and then also the um, <clears throat> the wand game, the magic wand game. Yeah. My kids played that more than anything else. They love that more than the water park. And it's one of the cheapest things to do there. Well, everything is is not great, but you can get these Relative. passes. And, yeah. But if you those wands always work. You can just go and buy a game too. Yep. And it's like 30 or 40 hours of gameplay. Yeah. it's a, They spent yeah. probably 10 days yeah. like working on it like at different... Yep. you can pick up right where you left off. Yeah, it's time. super cool. It's nice, yeah. So oh. Great Wolf is fun. I like Great Wolf. But the one in San Francisco is not in San Francisco. Don't be fooled. It's not close. Don't accept the hype. If you're coming from the Philippines, I know we have a strong Filipino audience. <laughs> <laughs> so my Disneyland, yes. the way that I go about it. So I've gone about it two different ways. You can go as an adult 
go with kids now depending on the age of the kids that's a big factor here yeah huge um i'll go from the because you you did the uh fantasy land first which is what i would do yeah. with little kids yeah because you can easily get on five rides in your first hour yep like, and then they're happy already yeah starting off real strong now with older kids this is the route that i kind of go so we start off going the left side okay. so we're gonna go towards indiana jones gotcha so i will go cruise right there yeah you have the um smith family I don't think it's Smith Family anymore, but that tree house. Tree yeah, house. Tree. yeah. So back in the day when we had fast passes, <clears throat> yeah. I would sprint over okay. to get a space mountain. Well, we're talking opposite sides here. I was quick. <laughs> Megan and I would split up from the family, go grab remember, fast passes. Remember, there's no running in Disneyland, so you got to be strategic here. <laughs> Sprinting in my... <laughs> as long as one foot's on the ground, I am walking. <laughs> Um, so I'd go get that. Yeah. The kids would go do like jungle cruise real fast. I okay. do Super love. Super easy to get on in the morning too. Exactly. A lot of by the, by the time you're getting off, I'm already back. And now. Okay. Now so we're going. So you miss jungle cruise? Generally the first time around. Okay. I love jungle cruise. It's one of my favorite rides. So you get it. You come back to it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I, I love the jokes. I, I'm. <laughs> I'm simple-minded like that. <laughs> you see the jokes we do on this channel, <laughs> right? <laughs> I love the, ah, <laughs> the I got backside it. of water. <laughs> <laughs> so then we just work our way down. So then, you know, you hit Indy real fast. Cause if you can get Indy in a 20 minute wait, yeah. that's great. Yeah. So now already starting the day, you have jungle cruise done for the kids. Indy. Indy's done. You have now right. it's a genie plus four okay. space set yep. up for yep. later in the day. Yep. But again, that's with fast passes. Now that I have genie plus, I would now do like Thunder Mountain right after. So it's so you could hit it and then bam, bam, yep. bam. Yep. Okay. Um, no pirates in there. I usually come back to pirates. Come back to pirates. Okay. Come back to pirates. Um, Taylor doesn't care for pirates. She says it takes too long. I love. I love pirates. So I love the original rides just as much yeah. as i like the new rides i love uh it, indy's great and that's not indy's great. awesome man uh but i love jungle cruise pirates haunted mansion like i could pirates is the, awesome i love the pageantry of how well they did the rides yeah my kids always used to not like haunted mansion except for andrew he loved mm -hmm. haunted mansion we always had to go for him <clears throat> and then what was the one that they took down the briar patch one red rabbit one you guys go, go on that one which one the one that they don't have anymore the biggest splash? drop splash yeah splash run okay so splash was always the last ride of the day for strategic reasons as well because you get wet as fuck you're soaked yeah yeah but if you do it as your last ride of the night generally you can go on and then just say hey do you want to go again yeah and they'll just keep sending you so if you can get there with like 20 minutes left you might get three or four rides out of it yeah which you're again you're already soaked you're going back to the middle well. anyways yeah like yeah, it's hard to give me a finish it off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's Winnie the Pooh over there too. You ever go on that? Yeah, I like that one. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, have you ever seen? Because it used to be a different ride. And I, yeah, I don't remember what it was. It was Berenstein Bears or something, or was it Country Bears? Country Bears. It was Country, country Bears because that's it's a Country Bears candy store still over there. Yeah, yeah. It was Country Bears. Yeah. So in the ride, if you look back after you go through one of the doors okay. in Winnie the Pooh, they still have. The, oh really the moose head the deer head and all that stuff oh, wow. still they left, left it there they left it there oh, yeah that's cool um all right so <clears throat> i usually take care of the left side of the park first yeah. um and then i don't generally revisit anything until way later in the day okay. uh, but then jumping over try to hit some fantasy land stuff it depends on the timing yeah but okay. i'm okay with changing things up like I'm not set to anything. It's yeah. more of a, we can move all, I have a plan for the next thing too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Just bounce off of your, like, if this doesn't work perfect, I'm going to the next thing. And the wait times are fairly accurate now inside the app too. So exactly. Yeah. So I usually change up, you know, the directions of where I'm going based on that. You ever, um, you ever catch those shows in that, in like mid fantasy land, I guess it is not fantasy land. What am I thinking of? Frontier? By, right by the butt. Yeah, Frontierland. Yeah. In the like, Golden Horseshoe? Yeah, yeah, exactly. When I was a kid, uh, my dad used to love that. Yeah. 
they come out and do something on the, the balcony too. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty dope. Yeah. Right by if you're waiting in a thunder line, you can see it. Yeah. <clears throat> One of the places I miss is the barbecue spot where Star Wars Land is now. Did you ever go there? Oh yeah, I did. Yeah. I forgot that's that's taken over by that, yeah. Yeah. I mean, not that I don't like Olga's Cafe, because yeah. I'm the only drinks in the park now. But. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we went We went there. We did the standby the last time we went. I'm, yeah. I'm going to get sidetracked here. No, yeah. Um, we went, put our names in. Yeah. Got a spot. We had five of us. Yeah, yeah. Two adults, three kids. And they set us up on, like, the stand-up little section. And it was just like, like and people were dropping glasses mm-hmm. yeah. left and right i'm like ah oh, damn it we're gonna have to get out of here uh, we can't get a booth <laughs> yeah so. it is hard to get a booth there I, I think i've only gotten a booth once and that's when we had eight people yeah i think that's the only way they yeah, could have gone no every way. other time with five were one of those small ass round tables yeah <laughs> yeah it's either relaxing really <laughs> you can't <even> sit down <laughs> Uh, so, all right. So where do we go from there? So we go now. I'd probably go through star Wars land, do all that stuff. Yeah. Down into on the way. fantasy. If I can. Okay. Toontown has always been pushed in the back for me. Like, yeah. I don't know why. Cause I love Toontown. Yeah. And they've done some really cool new stuff with it too. Yeah. But yeah, Roger play, rabbits. Uh, yeah. Roger rabbits. So there, the issue with that is it's always a 45 minute wait. Yeah. And it feels like six hours in there. I think uh, that New Ride helps now. Yeah. That's right next to it. Yep. And they're able to at least split that up a little bit. But yep. it's they open it up earlier too now. It used to be nine thirty and now they're opening it up like right when the park opens, I think, or yep. eight o'clock or something like that. Yep. So you do the Toontown, you not, not, not small world, no small world for you at all. Fuck small world. It's not a small world, it's a big, I big generally world. don't. I generally don't do small world. <laughs> it's a large world. <laughs> Uh, I usually skip small world. I usually skip the teacups. I can't do it. You can't do it? I can't do it. I get sick. I don't sick. like to do it anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I used to be like, yeah, I think it's best we can. <laughs> no, no, not anymore. Um, where else? Oh, so then you go to... Uh, Tomorrowland? Tomorrowland. Yeah. Um, Autopia. Buzz... Buzz Lightyear's ride. Buzz Lightyear like right that there. One. You got Star Tours straight across from Buzz. Yeah. And again, you're still getting, you know, Genie Plus passes yeah, throughout, this, throughout whole this whole process. And again, from our last video, get Matterhorn because that is going to close and it's going to close and it's going to close mm-hmm. and you're just going to get free passes all day. It'll be good. Yep. Matterhorn or Indy or... <laughs> yeah. Lick up Lotho. You guys know. <laughs> We're not going to give you everything. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's that's how we do. And it. so you're not gonna pop out of the park at all. You're probably just gonna stay in park all day. We're probably in the park all day, yeah. And then you're gonna end same thing. Fireworks. Yeah, we try to stay for fireworks when we went this last time. My littlest one, yeah, is done. It's a long fucking day. It is. It's a long day. Yeah, she just was crying because oh, no. she was just so tired yeah, yeah like she wasn't crying because she was mad or anything she no, was just like, like i'm so tired do this in <laughs> he's fucking people i've been here for 12 hours <laughs> so uh we went to the store on our like two days before we went because we don't have a stroller uh, oh anymore but i figured because she's smaller yeah i'm gonna well. go buy a stroller yeah so i bought a five dollar one at walmart and one of the full outs yeah right? yeah whole goal of it run into the park Get next to Indy, park the stroller there. I don't need it for the rest of the day. If she needs it, someone it. steals it. It's fine. Well, halfway through the day, we go back to try to get it. It's, it's gone. And my daughter was like very offended that that someone <laughs> would steal the stroller. So we're walking through the park and a whole bunch of different areas, and she's like having to like walk through to like try to find it, <laughs> which I thought was hella cute. This little tiny girl walking in the yeah, trying to find a stroller. <laughs> Which one are you, motherfucker? <laughs> um, when she found the same one a couple different times, May, you never know. It wasn't, I knew it wasn't ours. Oh, okay, okay. But uh, at the end of the night, someone returned it, and I was like, perfect. Like, that's all I needed. They used so it. I just pulled <laughs> yeah. it right out. Perfect. This is all I needed for. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh. Okay, so none, it wasn't Stella. Yeah. In the end, it was returned, which was nice. So what do you like to eat in, in Disneyland? 
Oh, uh, I like to eat in Cars Land. They have some good food in there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I like to eat on the pier as well. Yep. Uh, Boudins, if you've never had their bread, it's amazing. But they also do a great macaroni and cheese bowl. Yep. I have pretty much everything over there. You know what's gone? Good. Boudins is gone? I think so. What the fuck? I could be wrong. Because they That's turned it what? to San Francisco. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, fuck. That's crazy. Ghirardelli's is still there. Yeah. Mission Tortillas, I think, is still there. Yeah. But I think Boudin's is gone. Which is terrible. Fuck. I love food. Hey, what's that place that has the teriyaki chicken bowls too? That's those are good too. Yeah, it's like a I forget the name of it. I think it's Chinese or, or Vietnamese yeah. place. Yeah, I think it's still there though. Yeah. Okay. Shit, you're scaring me. <laughs> then also, I like to eat. Um, on, well, they're usually doing something on the pier where it's like food of something, and yeah. those are always really good bites. Yeah. Right now they have the uh, food and wine festival going on right now. See, the food and wine is good because they do wine pairings there. Yep. They have really good like small bites too. They had this um, habanero mac and cheese one year that was off the hook. Yeah, they have uh, ice cream flights there right now. I hate which I'm about. Oh my God. (laughs) Yep. Now I have to go back. (laughs) Let's go. I don't eat ice cream. (laughs) My kids and uh, whatever she is does. (laughs) Cut. (laughs) Yeah, let's cut that. (laughs) <laughs> let's cut that at my kids <laughs> uh, figure it shit out okay <laughs> keep that in <laughs> let's keep that that's <laughs> like a cackle laugh you know? mm. all right so like always we got to do some jokes um life wouldn't be funny without the funniness that comes from dirty and raunchy jokes uh, okay. I feel like we are never prepared. This is going to go really well on our live shows, I think. <laughs> I think people really like us looking at our phones. <laughs> no, we'll be more set up. A lot. The average footage time. Cedric, maybe we should pull that up. <laughs> we have the average time that we are just dead looking at our phones on this thing. Uh, how do you embarrass an archaeologist? How? Tell him the Bible is the most accurate. No, I'm sorry. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> if you get that, you're on the inside of this cast. <laughs> this is an actual joke, though. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right. How do you embarrass an archaeologist? Give him a used tampon and ask him which period it came from. <laughs> <laughs> This is stupid. <laughs> what did the horse say after it tripped? Mm. Help, I've fallen and I can't giddy up. <laughs> so dumb. That's, that's <laughs> ultimate dad joke. What do you call an angry carrot? Mm. A steamed veggie. <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> If your Uncle Jack was on his roof and he wanted you to help him get down, would you help your Uncle Jack off? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would. I would I'm good person. <laughs> I don't want him to get hurt. <laughs> oh. Nice. How does a woman scare their gynecologist? Cough? (laughs) By becoming a ventriloquist. Oh, shit. (laughs) She can do her voice (laughs) in weird places. Uh, (laughs) Why do they say that eating yogurt and oysters will improve your sex life? Because if you eat that stuff, you'll eat anything. (laughs) (laughs) you know all the hooters are going away like i I think all the hooters are closing okay so my dad lives in west virginia which explains a lot of shit shit about me (laughs) is there hooters out there well oh it's called bangers (laughs) (laughs) so this is nowhere near where he lives 
he he claims he lives in the nice part of West Virginia. Okay. Y- you've been? No, I've not been yet. Okay. <laughs> but uh, it's like in the the West Virginia, West Virginia side. Okay. Yeah, right, all right. Uh, but it was closing down, and they like held a candlelight vigil <laughs> for the last day. And did it? Is it still open now? <laughs> no, or, I, think, I think it's gone. Okay. <laughs> but before they're all closed down. What is the process of applying for a job at Hooters? They just give you a double D bra and say, here, fill this out. <laughs> <laughs> if you can, you're in. Honey. That's so funny. <laughs> Which is why these places are closing. <laughs> Although, yes, Sydney Sweeney's making a comeback for, for the boob men of the world. Have you seen that? I've seen Sydney Sweeney. Yes, I have not seen the so new it, Marvel piece of shit. Or it's not Marvel; it's a Sony. I haven't watched that either. But uh, she did SNL uh, oh, uh, she last did. week. Okay, and everyone's like talking. I'm mad about her titties. Yeah. Okay. And it's like, like a huge thing. Or yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, they are game recognized game. <laughs> yeah, it's good. If we could just do the whole podcast with her. Generate right here. That'd be great. <laughs> Thanks, Cedric. <laughs> Let's play Carpenter. First, we'll get hammered, then I'll nail you. <laughs> I asked my wife if I'm the only one she's ever been with. She said, Yeah, the rest were sevens and eights. No, oh, I couldn't. <laughs> Okay, that's good. <laughs> that's fucking good. <laughs> Demoralizing. <laughs> Emotional damage. <laughs> Why does a mermaid wear seashells? Because she outgrew her bee shells. <laughs> what is the sexual appeal of a mermaid? I, my, like, you can't. Fuck it, right? Or I mean, or can't is <laughs> Can you mermaid enthusiast or merthusiast as you like to be called? Can you tell me whether or not I mean obviously there's oral components. I just explain the fetish. Yeah, yeah. Is it <clears throat> would it be better like fish top woman legs? <laughs> <laughs> I know how it sounded as it, as it came out. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want the introduction to our podcast to be forever now. <laughs> Wouldn't it be better to have a fish top? Because <laughs> you're cutting away the best part. Who wants to fuck a fish pussy? <laughs> I mean, dolphins have been known to do it. Fuck dead corpses. Dolphins are crazy. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining us again. We love to bring you this fun and interesting content. Um, if you guys want us to talk about something, you can comment that too. Feel free to reach out and say that. Uh, for Cup of Joes, thank you very much for stopping by to have your daily Cup of Joe. Appreciate Cheers. You.